The all-new 98.9 Real Gold Radio. Paul Simon, Kodachrome. It is 9.05. I love it, and I want to tell everybody out there that if you're not listening to Real Gold Radio at 98.9, you're missing out. Oh, that was Alice Gamble, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And good morning to Beth Beeman. Good morning, Jim. Uh, the Helmet Playhouse Manager. So you have a full plate, boy, this time of year, don't you? Yes, we do. We've been closed for a couple of months and opened up uh, last Saturday, so things are going really well. Okay. So, what's happening? What is... You know, what's going on? At the Playhouse, um, coming up uh, this Saturday, of course, we're getting close to the middle of March and celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. So in that vein, we're bringing in Nessa, <clears throat> excuse me, they're a Celtic band out of uh, Ann Arbor. Mm. And uh, they are, it's led by this flutist and vocalist, Kelly McDermott. Mm. Um, she is a... She, she's the lead vocalist uh, in the band, and uh, they combine classical, jazz, and Celtic influences with accents of world music and soul. Oh, look how pretty. Yeah. That's them. Yeah, isn't that nice? Oh, boy. Uh, That's going to be great. I think it's going to be really wonderful, but a little bit different than some of the other uh, you know, Celtic bands that, that are around, and uh, so they really are very traditional. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to meeting them. This is a first visit for them to the, to, to the Playhouse. And uh, so that's, that's this Saturday, uh, March 14th at 7.30. Okay, tickets, tickets. are Yeah, tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for students. Um, Wonderful. Yeah, and the nice thing is that there will be beverages available, um, adult beverages available for purchase, and uh, the, ben- the proceeds of that go to benefit the friends of the Playhouse. Yeah, let's listen to just a a little bit of this. It sounds nice. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah, they actually had contacted me about a year ago uh, about wanting to come up uh, to this area, and we finally made it work. So mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to having them in. Okay. Then what? Uh, this is a group that has been to the Playhouse before and has visited West Michigan, the MSU Acapellas. Uh-huh. And it's exactly like it sounds. Um, the Michigan State University um, Acapella group, it's all male group. Oh, uh, they've been touring together since 1996. Yeah, of course. Tune, tunes ranging from uh, classic rock to the most current pop hits. Yeah. Wow, they've been doing this since 1996. 1996, yeah. Okay. Of course, the group has changed as they graduate, sure. but it's a wonderful group and they're a great bunch of guys. Um, that come together and they are wonderful. I've seen them a couple of times, one time at Reese Puffer High School and another time at the Helmet Playhouse. Wow, they've so, won awards for this too. They have, they have. They are just a great group of guys. So uh, yeah. if anybody's out there that likes to, um, that has seen the movie Pitch Perfect um, or even watches Glee, this is, a, this is a great group for you to come and see. Oh, wow. And Wait. that's actually Saturday, March 28th at 7.30 p.m. And again, tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for students. So, okay. yeah, we keep our ticket prices low so that we can, you know, welcome as many people as we can, as we can hold at the Playhouse. That's house. perfect. That is really great. What a jewel we have, the Helmet Playhouse. And, Isn't it wonderful? And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, when was this established? How many years ago? 98 years ago. Is that the right? The Playhouse was That's... built in 1916. Yeah. So it's it's a time-tested deal. Mm-hmm. I wonder who the first musicians were. What, you don't know. Do you? I have no idea. Yeah, no. so long ago. <laughs> So, um, let me see. That will be March 28th. Then, mm-hmm. how about uh, Monday, March 30th, and Tuesday, March 31st? What, did we talk about that? No. Uh, no, we have not. But what I want to do is let people know that uh, the Arts Council of White Lake, which is the Nuveen Theater Workshop, mm-hmm. they are having auditions for Not a Baby Anymore. This is a uh, musical written by our friend Alice Gamble. Oh, yeah. And Ellen Carmichael. Excuse me, Ellen Carmichael. And this is open to middle school and high school students. Um, that is Monday, March 30th, and Tuesday, May, March 31st, from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay. Those auditions will be at the City Hall, oh. um, Whitehall City Hall, not at the Playhouse. So, okay. And they only have to come one time, so I definitely recommend um, students get out there and do this show. Uh, Alice is a wonderful director and a lot of fun to work with. Oh, I bet. That's going to be so. She's really into this. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. we have her uh, usually on the first Tuesday of every month, but last, uh, well, this, you know, past Tuesday or whenever it was, uh, Kim Harsh was here because okay. Alice was in Texas, but she was listening to us. Oh, was she? Yeah, over the internet. That's oh, nice. Kind of a neat deal. <laughs> Isn't the world amazing? <laughs> it sure is. Oh, a little scary at times. I don't even know how to text yet. See? <laughs> I'll teach you after we get off air. I, you know, I'm like a caveman or something. <laughs> throwing rocks around. 
and playing rock and roll every morning. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, oh, it's I perfect do too. You combination. ought to be on this side. You know, people enjoy listening to it, but they ought to be on this side doing it. It would be a blast. Wow, it is. It's like a little mini party in here every morning. <laughs> It's a party of one, please. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Jim's on his own. Yep, I am. <laughs> and I just, I just, you know, I drink a little tea and I get high playing the music. That's awesome. Naturally stoned. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your job. <laughs> yeah. So what else did we want to uh, touch on before we take a little break? Sure, sure. Um, again, along the same idea of youth theater arts education, which we do a lot of at the Playhouse, um, there are dance auditions for Cinderella, mm. which is uh, our, on Tuesday, March 31st, uh, beginning at 7.30, uh, 7.30 p.m. Um, the cast has already been um, posted for that, for all of the speaking roles, um, and that's high school students. But this is open. The dance auditions are open for elementary up through high school. So if you didn't get a chance to get to the auditions for the show or that you just didn't really feel like having a speaking part, this is an opportunity for you to be involved. Oh. And it's a wonderful group, too. Um, Cindy Beth Davis Dykema, who was the previous uh, Playhouse manager a couple of couple years ago um, uh, is directing the show and she does an amazing job so I invite you to come out to that as well okay now if um, people want a little more information or mm -hmm. they can't uh, take everything in during our interview can they go to a website yes yeah. that's howmetplayhouse.org okay all right so um, take a little break you want to take a little break absolutely okay and we'll be back what are we going to talk about next the Spring break or something? Yes, we're going to talk about spring break at the Hamet Playhouse. All right, so don't go away. The all new 98.9 Real Gold Radio Simon and Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. Whoa, Nelly. Who's Nelly? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she that mean girl on uh, Little House in the Prairie? Oh, yeah, no, that was a cute show. <laughs> She was a nice little girl, but boy, she was a nasty little thing. Right? And she, she grew was. up to be a nasty old woman. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> so we are talking with Beth Beeman, the Helmet Playhouse Manager. <laughs> I'm starting to laugh here. Um, sometimes it just doesn't quit. <laughs> So we're going to be talking about the spring break thing, right? Right, thing. right. Mm -hmm. um, every year at the Helmet Playhouse, we partner with the Arts Council of White Lake, and that's the Nuveen Center. And we produce a, uh, we hold a spring break workshop. Last year, we did a Broadway boot camp, which was really fun. Um, kids learn to do um, dances and, and sing to some Broadway musical stuff. Oh, wow. It was really cool. And uh, we had a lot of kids that came out for that. Uh, this year, it's actually a, a theater survival skills course. Um, and that's being led by, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Anissa Bailfus, and she actually uh, runs the Improvica Acting Company up in Ludington. Theater survival. Yes. And what 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 is that? Uh, how come it's named that? <laughs> <laughs> well, because it, when you get into the theater, there's more than just getting on the stage and acting. Oh, so it's learning about yeah. all of those things that come not just on the stage, but you know, kind of behind the scenes too. So yeah. they're how going. How many to how many people get stage fright? Over the years. That Probably you, every single one. Yeah, I mm -hmm. bet. I bet. There's well, always a little bit of that energy, I think, that's healthy uh, before yeah, you go out on stage and right. uh, make sure to be on your toes and be ready. So. You get the butterflies, and it's always worse before you go on. Mm -hmm. Once you get on, they kind of disappear most of the time, I would think. That's what my husband says. He's a, he's a performer, too, and he says usually it's just before he goes out, and then all of a sudden it just goes away. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I think that's just part of the gig. I get that way sometimes on the radio. Butterflies, sometimes, <laughs> you know. I, I want to eat them is what I want to do. <laughs> Butterfly stew. That'd be a good song, wouldn't it? We'll write it after we get off there. Butterflies are free. Yeah. Fly away. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, continue right up. Now, the tickets for that are what? Well, this is a, this is a, a week-long course, oh. um, and so this is a, it's a fifty dollars class, I and this see. is uh, open to grades six through eight, as well as grades three through five. There's two different times for those groups, oh. and uh, and they can call the Nuveen Center at eight nine four two seven eight seven. And what date is that again? Uh, that runs April sixth through the eleventh. Oh. So it's a Monday through Friday. So it's a nice little thing for the kids to be involved in if you're not heading off to Florida or warmer weathers, um, and uh, you'd like something for your children to do. This is a great thing to put your kids in, and they're going to learn a lot. What age group are we talking about? This is about grades three through five and grades six to eight. Oh, boy. Yep. So uh, we have two different times for those classes um, just to keep them separated, just being more age appropriate. That is wonderful. Yeah, to it's going to be great. Oh, to get the young kids involved. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful thing. Yeah. And... 
This, the last one. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this, this bumps back to the weekend before that. It's April 4th. And this is out there for all your listeners that are big fans of Green Sky Bluegrass. Uh, this is an evening with the Hoffman Trio. So that's mm. Paul Hoffman with Anders Beck and Mike Duvall. And they're coming to the Helmet Playhouse on April 4th with a 7.30 show. Tickets for that are $15, and they can be purchased uh, uh, through our website at helmetplayhouse.org. Oh, there's so, nothing like bluegrass. I love it. The and original, is this the original stuff? Yeah, these guys are great. Um, they Jeez. they do some next, they do like a, uh, they're really great bluegrass players. I can't uh, explain it more yeah, than that, but sure, um, sure. they're wonderful to listen to. And, and Green Sky Bluegrass is traveling all over the country, and they are selling out huge venues. I bet. So we are super lucky to have this group of these uh, musicians back here at the well, Playhouse. It's so. very, <clears throat> excuse me, it's very colorful music, and mm -hmm. I bet they just kind of ham it up and have a darn good time. They do, and they're wow. super talented and uh, cannot wait to have them back on. And this is actually a presentation of Gold Coast Entertainment. So they're coming out and putting on this show for us, so and I'm looking is, forward to uh, that. that is April the 4th, Saturday, mm -hmm. at the Playhouse. Yes. Okay. And all the information is available online. Yes. Okay. Have we covered it? Yep, and just a quick reminder that don't miss Nessa this Saturday, uh -huh. March 4th at 7.30 at the Hummet Playhouse. Yeah, we can play a little bit more of it here. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's very nice. Well, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me in. And, well, you'll be back, what, next month, you think? Sure. Okay. I'll come back anytime. Sure. All right. Thank you. We've been talking with Beth Beeman, the Helmet Playhouse manager, about a lot of wonderful things. And White Lake, the Whitehall Montague area, has a real jewel. It's been here for a long time, so take advantage of, take advantage of it. A real jewel, the Helmet Playhouse. Thanks again.